power, power. It's the what? Power, power. It's the who? Power, power. Yeah, yeah. Blacks, Hispanics, and natives. Power, power. It's the what? Power, power. It's the who? Power, power. Yeah, yeah. Blacks, Hispanics, and natives. But let's jump into the article, The Myth of American Innocence. The Capitol attack shows the danger of forgetting America's history. The history of the United States is rife with episodes of political violence far bloodier and more instructive than the one President Trump incited at the Capitol on Wednesday. So everybody's up in arms about it, but there have been much more bloodier conflicts. And it seems like we're forgetting about that. It says, nevertheless, ignorance of a grisly past, well documented by historians like uh, W.E.B. Dubois, John Hope Franklin, and Richard Hofstadter, was painfully evident in the aftermath of this week's mob invasion of Congress. Talking heads queued up to tell the country again and again that carnage, that the, that the carnage was an aberration and not who we are as a people. Can we get that about his soul is not a bright in him? We're going to show you two later, a little bit later, uh, how biblically what his blessing was so you can know who he is. When they tell you that's not who we are, that's not true. That's not true at all. All right. But let's start with this. The book of Habakkuk, chapter 2 and verse 4. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. Right. So speaking about this, this Edomite, right? who is the border of wickedness, all right, we'll bring that out later maybe uh, as well, all right, is telling you that their soul is not upright in them. So it absolutely is who they are. What, what, you got more on that? But the just shall live by his faith. Right, but the just are going to live by faith. So meaning the, the Israelites, we are not to follow after uh, Edom. We're not to follow after the so-called white man in his behaviors and his practices and his ideals because we're going to live by faith because his ways are not upright. Right, and that doesn't mean that there's some just Edomites. No, with the top part, it's talking about all Edomites. <laughs> right. Right. Okay. right. That's no, 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 exactly no, no, right. because they try to twist stuff, no, man. You're good. They put our people mm-hmm. to sleep. You're right. You know, no, the just will is then, now, uh, but then, be, and now and, and in the future always will be. The Israelites, right? Because they're never going to be just, and and when we and when we do possess them, as it says in Amos nine, the only reason they're going to keep these commandments is because it's going to be upon pain of death, no, the right. same way they did to us when the they right. converted us to them. Because to be just means right. you're justified, and the Israelites are justified by keeping the laws in Christ. These these other nations, especially Edom, can't be justified through nothing. They were created to be. Not upright. His soul was created to do exactly what he's doing, and that's be the devil. The Bible. That's why the Bible dictionary says they are the only nation in the Bible that promise of salvation is not mentioned. Yep, it says it. I'm paraphrasing, but you know, y'all know where where no promise of salvation is mentioned for them. Yep, something like that. Uh, uh, oh, and I think it says, "And of whom the Lord will have indignation forever." Yeah, right. Let me see if it shows up in here. Let's 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 read on. So it says the, this willful act of forgetting compounded by the myth of American innocence. So he's letting you know that it's is easy for them to to consciously forget their atrocities. I mean, let's not even talk about what they did to us in captivity. Oh, it's under Edom. I'm sorry. And the atrocities that they did to us then. Right. And you want to talk about that's not who we are. But even in dealing with their own governments and and amongst themselves when it came to their their lust for power. And rulership. It says, uh, this willful act of forgetting, compounded by the myth of American innocence, has shown itself to be dangerous on a variety of counts. Where's that other one that he says he holds himself not guilty? Right? Because that goes in with the myth of American innocence. Right? So because they try to hold themselves innocent. They they always talk about their ideals and the model of democracy and all this other stuff. But you got to realize when democracy was invented, it was never. They did not have foresight or ever saw in their minds and their spirits 
definitely that we would be have rights like them. No, we had talked about it on Wednesday on the Wednesday show that that little small snip from that article when it talked about Puerto Rico that it's a land that should never be um, not possessed. Right. That's the same mindset they had 200 years prior to that. Not even 200 years, but what, 130 maybe? Right. Like like that mindset never changed. Right, right. This is uh, Zechariah 11, verse 5. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. Right, so uh, let's talk about that's not who we are. Our possessors was this so-called white man. And he says his possessors slayed them and hold themselves not guilty. You try to talk about those atrocities now in these last days, and what do they tell you? Oh, that was then. You should forget about that. But don't forget 9-11. Don't forget the so-called Holocaust. Don't forget all these other uh, events. But when it comes to us, why are you guys still holding on to that? You got uh, civil rights. You have— um, There's always some kind of smokescreen when you, when you raise simple questions. Yeah, you have affirmative action, but never an accountability for this, right? So it's a myth of innocence. And because then ultimately, what if you back them in a corner, what do they say? Well, that wasn't me. That was my forefather. Right. Look, j- just to give you a quick example. The other day, um, someone looked at my ID, right? And they said, oh, your last name's Israel. Are you, are you a Jew? I said, yes. He said, oh, that's, that's interesting. And because cause I have, you know, Northern Kingdom features. So he's like, oh, this, this Mexican can't be a freaking Jew. Mm-hmm. So I asked him, I said, have, have you ever thought about this question? How did the Hebrews leave black but come back white? And he said that statement's anti-Semitic, and I said it wasn't a statement; it was a question. I'm asking you, and it, it doesn't it doesn't change the question. It, there's, there's a smoke screen for every single thing, everything. Mm-hmm. So this scripture, when they say they hold themselves not guilty, because they know if they answer that question, then it's going to be a trickle down effect That's for exactly everything right. else. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. And anytime we back them into a corner with anything, because we have our retorts, Yo, we yeah. have our objections. This is why the burden of proof is on them to prove that we're not. Right, right. You you always say that, but that's one hundred and ten percent accurate. I mean, I mean, it is. I, we're at a level where, where 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 we don't need convincing us. These these men here, we don't need convincing. Oh no, no. I'm, but, I'm, I'm certainly persuaded. Right. So ten why should down. why should I try to defend that who I am to you? No, you prove that I'm not. Right, right. Absolutely. That's a good, that's the best way to flip it on them. So it says this willful act of forgetting, compounded by the myth of American innocence, has shown itself to be dangerous on a variety of counts. For starters, it allowed many Americans to view the president's insistence that he had won an election in which he was actually trounced and his simultaneous embrace of right wing extremism as political theater that will pass uneventfully from the stage when Joe Biden is inaugurated. What's the harm in humoring him? The argument went. Mr. Trump will soon be gone. As it turns out, Republicans in Congress who played along with the ruse encouraged a mob weaned on presidential lies to believe the fiction that Mr. Trump had been robbed of a victory. They've deified him. That's what they because did. That's because exactly he is their mouth. Did. That's exactly what they. I. You know what? D- D- Obama was deified, but not to this level. No, no, not nearly. Not to this not level. Nearly. And you know what's interesting? And again, you know we don't get into politics. I hate politics. For, for even before the truth, I hated freaking politics for the most part. Like I knew it was just freaking a, a ruse. But if you went ahead and stood up for Obama like they're standing up for Trump, you you were communists. Mm-hmm. You were you were totally against. It. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, I was gonna say this one's worse because there's action behind what these people can do. Like our people have no power to to do nothing. Right. But just say, oh yeah, we. Well, that goes to show black. you that the that when it says this is not who we are. Right. It certainly is right because it kind of comes back full circle that uh, our people wouldn't. I, I guess we're not. I don't even want to say we're not that dumb. We're actually that we're actually extremely intelligent to realize that if we ever attempted something like that, we would be taken down. Mm-hmm. Well, we saw Lolita LeBron. Right. Yep. And they did it with their pomp that, hey, we're going to be all right. Like nothing's going to happen to us from it. Uh, so they deified this guy. And, and and this is what you get here. I know they're saying now that the my pillow guy was there with notes. Uh, talking to him about uh, putting the Insurrection Act in place. Martial and, law. Yeah, martial yep. law and all that stuff. And Hey, let me ask. So the guy was coming out the Capitol with a government property, mm-hmm. right? Nancy Pelosi's uh, pulpit. Mm-hmm. And I'm not, cond- I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying that what BLM and, and, and destroying your own neighborhood is good. That's ridiculous. It's foolish. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's stupid. But what's the difference? In right. fact, I think it's at a higher level there, right? According to well, it was done on f- to federal property. Federal so property that, that alone makes it. I, not th- and again, I want to be clear: we don't condone any violent, any. Lo- it's stupid. You, you blacks, Hispanic, Native Americans that partake in that stuff, 
You're destroying your own community. Those stores are never going to come back over there again. Nope. You're falling into their trap. We right. don't condone that crap. Right. But we this... understand the rage. No, we understand. Listen, but we that's understand. that's not the outlet for and, it. And that's not our fight. Right. But that's our fight is spiritual. Be angry but sin not. Mm-hmm. Right. So, but, right, right, right. And, and that's and, a sin and, because obviously the... you're burglarizing. Right. You're destroy- that's a sin, right? It's a get thou shalt not steal, et cetera, et cetera, right? But I'm just trying to make a comparison. They took pictures of him and everything, and it was fine. <laughs> and it says they, they homeboy chilling on her desk was and fine. hold themselves not guilty and hold themselves not guilty. That's what they do. It's their world, man. That's the bottom line, man. Mm-hmm. So the resulting invasion of the government, which was thus far reportedly taken at least five lives, should make clear to everyone that the potential for political violence is a proverbial river of gasoline, waiting for a demagogue like Mr. Trump to drop the lighted match. He, I think they had a a, a clip. I wish I, I wish I knew where it was. Where somebody asked one of his supporters, like, basically, why do you, like, uh, support him so much or why do you love him so much? And he says, uh, because he, s- he says, he speaks our mind or he that's says. What I, that's what they all say. When you speak to the, his cult following, that's what they say. Yep. Because he tells them. Will Trump win the nomination? I think he will. Yes, he will. I think he can do it. And what, and what do you like most about Donald Trump? I like your accent. Yeah, I know, but apart from that, we can have a drink later, but what do you like most about Donald Trump? I like the fact that he is not afraid to say what we're all thinking. What they say, yep. Because he tells it like it is, things yep. of that to that yeah. extent. Yeah, yeah, but but that, I mean, it, it was, I mean, I know that that was the case, but it was nice to have that soundbite on video because he, he was been saying what we've been saying for the longest when we say we actually love him in office yeah, because right. he speaks what what they feel. Right, That's cold, that was cold talk for, he speaks... The fact that we're racist right. mm-hmm. and that we hate everybody else, but right. make America great again. What does that mean? Right. Right. We weren't part of that greatness. We never have. Well, we have, but we didn't get it. We didn't get compensated for it. Right. Right. Because right? they built this country off of our. We were here. We built it already. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. We built this already. Right. And they just freaking took it. So it says the circumstances that led up to the sacking of the Capitol are reminiscent, are reminiscent of the 19th century when Southerners rolled back the period of black self-determination known as Reconstruction, unleashing a reign of racial tyranny. During the November election, Mr. Trump echoed Southern white supremacist of a bygone era when he falsely asserted that there had been widespread voting fraud in majority black cities. So this was the point I was bringing out. Mm -hmm. Regardless of what you feel about elections and whatever and, and all this, that, and the other, you have to understand what his intent was in trying to invalidate votes. And... It was going to be in those districts that were, and it's interesting because uh, I was looking at the those districts. Speaking of that for a second, and then, and then I'll finish my point. And for for example, you're looking at Georgia, and uh, all those red districts, which typically, if they're red, that means red, like not right, white. Right. That means Esau, right? right? So typically, if if the district's right. red, typically, I mean, we might be sprinkled there, but typically, as a whole, as a whole, yeah. it's Edom. Interesting that they chose red. That that that's what they rally about, right? I know. Um, and I was looking at it, and they showed the blue, bro. And it was like, um, I put it like this: it was like spaghetti with sauce. It was like a drop and, that fallen from a vessel, and like four meatballs on it. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was, bro. Because the four Nothing. and and the four meatballs was the blue districts, but the blue districts have so many of our people that the votes would tilt those electoral votes right and here's the thing it makes a lot of sense because guess what we're the ones that are crowded on top of each other i was gonna say we that. cannot be in these sprawled out gonna, areas I, that they are that. and things Suburbs. like that so the yep. population density is is always skews like that when it comes to us that's what we like to say that sea, so. right when it comes to blacks and hispanics so that's what he really had issue with when he says he was going to turn over votes and those places i'm not saying that they weren't white votes in there and Asian votes in there and all that other stuff. But that's really what he was saying there. And if our people didn't go out and vote the way they did, you saw how his people went out and voted mm-hmm. for him. Y- you know, he'd have round two. Right? Let go. Israel is back. We back. Israel is back. We got the nations running scared because Israel is back. All lies on us because we keeping them low. When the Lord will return, Babylon
on wheels. Precepts solid. solid. We got them on lock. God's chosen people with Christ as our rock. Israel is back. We back. Israel is back. We back. You heathen, get ready for our whip to crack. Damn.